Yo, what's the word, gang? Steph for the Cloud Chaser TV. If y'all already new to this channel, y'all know what to do. You gotta hit that like button. You gotta uh, subscribe and share this on your all your social media platforms. So let me ask you this, man. These last couple weeks, man, it been been some viral clips of you going around, bro. Um, yeah. Going up to no jumper, man. Uh, what exactly was you going up to no jumper for? And like, what 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 was what was in your mind? When you decided to go to No Jumper, like what what you what you was thinking about doing and what you had on your mind when you finally got there. So when I was when I when I was going up to No Jumper, I had I had seen I had seen the homie Brick Baby over there. I had seen him like like you know like pull up, you know what I'm saying like like pull up to the 60s or pull up, nigga. You know what I'm saying when the nigga tell me pull up, uh, I felt at least I felt like you know what I'm saying my name was in there. So many you know it, it don't matter. Like when you tell a nigga pull up, you gonna pull up wherever you at. That's how I was taught. That's how I was raised. It don't matter. Like when you when you talking like that, like in my personal opinion, like nigga, you gonna get cracking whenever or, or wherever. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of I kind of I kind of lost my my cool, you know. And I, I I fed into the you know what I'm saying the little hype. But mind you, bro, I, I I just did twelve. So every you know I just came from a place where everything is considered as a sign of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when he say that. I'm not knowing how, like, I ain't been out here in society in a long time, so I don't know how they go back and forth on the internet, and I'm not used to that, bro. The nigga tell me to pull up, I'm going to pull up. You know what I'm saying? You want to squabble, we going to squabble. I ever, you, wanna, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not knowing this how people get ratings and they get views and all that. I'm oblivious to all this. You see what I'm saying? So me going up there is like, all right, you saying pull up. I'm not saying necessarily I was going up there to squabble, homie, you know, but that was at the back of my mind. If that's what you want to do, because I know I had called him out his name. I, you know what I mean? So my whole thing, if he wanted to have a conversation, if he wanted to squabble, however he wanted to go about it, he said pull up. So I was there, you know what I'm saying, to, to welcome any of that. You know, but I'm not going to say that I went in there up, up there necessarily to sock him out or anything like that. It's like, all right, I called you out your name. I'm going to keep asking that. You my homeboy. I'm not going to be one of these dudes on the Internet and call you out your name or talk mess to you and not give you no action. I'm going to pull up. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a conversation, we can have a conversation. You want to squabble because you feel like disrespect you? Absolutely. You got that. I have no problem with that. And that was, that was, that was, that was my intent. And that was the, the reason why I went up there. Got you. So basically, like, let me ask you this, though. Like, what you did was a reaction to something he did to his action. Like, what was what was the action that he did that, that caused that reaction from you to even call him out of his name or even feel any type of way about him? Like, was it was it was it was it a compound of, of, of issues or was it just that one issue? Because it, it seemed like you might have had like, you know, different things that, that was bothering you about what he was doing and not just that one thing. Um. Not necessarily, I, I wouldn't say not, not necessarily that. I, I didn't. Well, I didn't, I didn't like how he um he didn't say nothing. He didn't, he didn't say nothing to you know what I'm saying to flame or whatever about that. I didn't like that, but that wasn't the reason why I had the issue with the homie. Because like I told him, it's like I understand that. See, a lot of people be saying, "Oh, they just on him and they're not on flame." That's not even the case. I'm the reason why DW apologized to the to our community. You get what I'm saying? Not saying that I marked him out and then like that. I explained to him, me, he had a grown uh, man to man conversation. I explained to him and he explained to me back and he seen my point of view. You get what I'm saying? Right. Y'all so got some understanding. We, we we got some understanding. That's why it, nothing has been, no other words has been exchanged for me or the homies to flame. You get what I'm saying? So we got that nipped in the bud immediately. My only problem that I had with the homie, Rick Baby, was it's how he came out of C that's the only that's the only reason why I didn't like that he didn't say nothing, but that wasn't what threw me over the top. It was like, bro, like you didn't have none of that energy as far as I thought at the time. You didn't have no none of my energy. But I heard his perspective as well. But it's like you didn't have that energy towards flame on camera, but you get on camera and throw the homie on a train. You see what I'm saying? If we homies, if we homies, like you know what I'm saying? Like and to me, in my personal opinion, C Mac didn't say nothing wrong to him. You get what I'm saying? I just, I just, I just disagreed. How, you know, how he threw the homie under the train? Like I didn't, you know, if that was the case. Why was you hanging with him? If that was the case, why was you fucking with him? If that was the case. Why was you putting money on his books? You know. Look, it's been a debate online. Like when it comes down to C Mac, like if C Mac was in that particular situation, you think he would have spoke up? Absolutely, absolutely. But but see 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 see. Look, I want to clear. I want to clear this up right now too. It's not like I'm telling because. Rick Baby was saying this, or people online be like, 
I be seeing people react to it like, oh, they just want him to crash out. And I'm like, absolutely not, bro. I would never want, I, I, would, I want the homie, I'm happy for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? More power to that dude. Like, I'm glad it's, it's a homie from neighborhood on that platform. I don't want his spot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's good. I'm, 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 I'm happy. I wish him all the luck in the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the blessings and all that. I, I wasn't mad at that. My whole thing is about, you should have just checked that online. No matter, it doesn't matter if DW, you know what I'm saying, corrected itself or apologized right there. You should at least say something, bro. Because that's a major platform. You don't want, you know what I'm saying? You got people on the outside looking in like, man, what's going on? I ain't telling you to crash out nothing like that. I understand you have a relationship. I have relationships with people from across the tracks or the other side. There's nothing wrong with having them type of relationships. But at the same time, if we on camera or something like that, I'm not going to make it seem like or let him just diss my whole community. You get what I'm saying? And not say nothing about it. And then turn around and go go ballistic on C-Mac. I just didn't feel like that was right. You know what I'm saying? And, and on top of that, C-Mac is in the feds right now. He in jail, so he can't speak for himself. So I'm going to speak for him. As far as that issue.